Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use worker pools in Go to effectively distribute the amount of work you want to do across various Go routines so that you will be finishing your work sooner. So let's say you want certain work to be done and uh, what that work involves is taking a string and doing some processing on top of that string and uh, basically showing the result okay so let's say you want to do uh, this work for like five different strings so you there is one option you can do each of them one by one or you can take the advantage of concurrency in go to do all of these uh, concurrently so here the concept of worker pool comes into picture so uh, I'm going to show you an example of how you can implement such worker pools. So let's say you have uh, five jobs and uh, you have a jobs list. So job one, job two, up to job five. So these are basically the five strings on top of which you want to do some uh, processing. And the way you can do it concurrently is by usage of channels. So here I have one channel which will take into account the jobs themselves and there is another channel uh, which will receive the results okay so so the work itself is done in this function so what this function does is basically it goes through all the jobs it receives as string and then it basically does a time dot sleep which mimics the work done and it basically adds this extra string job done to whatever job it was given and it pushes it to results okay so to do it concurrently this loop is used so here i am creating three go routines which means there will be three workers basically so each of these will create one go routine so we'll have three go routines in total and I'm giving each of the go routines an ID. So go root, so worker one, worker two, worker three. And what happens here is that inside the worker it listens for the jobs. So each worker is listening to the jobs. And now we simply have to feed in the job into the job channel. So this is done in this for loop here, as you can see. So we're ranging over all the jobs list and feeding it into the jobs channel and here we have those listening so once a worker receives a job it starts its, its work and then eventually pushes the result to results channel and finally i'm simply uh, printing the results okay so if i execute this code as you can see here uh, the worker these lines are getting executed so worker started his job worker 2 started job 3 worker 1 started job 2 so all of them are starting and finishing their jobs uh, concurrently and finally these statements where I'm simply printing out the results so those are written here so the job 1 job done then job 5 job done job 4 job done and before that job 3 and job 2 job also done so this is an example of uh, how you can use worker pools to uh, divide a set of work between various go routines and improve your performance of uh, your overall program 